Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us on the session on Introduction to Digital Health. Today we will be going through a brief overview of this field. Digital health can be defined as the use of information and communication technologies in healthcare and other health professions to manage illnesses and risks and also to promote wellness. Given to the expansiveness of this definition, digital health ends up being a very broad field. There is a possibility of creating subsets by narrowing down the definition. First one being digital medicine. It is defined as the use of technologies as tools for measuring and intervention in service of humanity. One important consideration added to the digital medicine is the need for clinical evidence for these measurements and interventions. An even more focused area is the digital therapeutics, which delivers evidence-based therapeutic interventions to prevent, manage, or treat medical disorders or a disease. Digital therapeutics need real-world evidence in addition to clinical evidence. Digital health provides a number of advantages, some of them being reduction in inefficiencies, improvement in access, reduction in cost, increase in quality of data, and making medicine more personalized for patients. Before we, uh, before we go further, um, let's talk about digital health technologies. Digital health technologies are defined as technologies that remotely acquire health-related information and can constitute mobile health, health information system, wearable devices, telehealth, and remote trials. The data generated and processed by these digital health technologies can assist in generating evidence that can support safety, efficacy, and cost-effectiveness assessments. In order to generate the evidentiary support, digital health technologies can assist through different kinds of data streams. Let's turn our attention to the kind of data that can be collected when it comes to digital health. The characteristics associated with the data might change depending upon the technological developments. But to provide a brief overview, it can include multiomics data like proteomics, genomics, metabolomics, etc., physical activity data, dietary information, socioeconomic factors, medication use, environmental and audiovisual data. These data streams can collect can be collected uh, through digital technologies as well as they can be used for providing the services. There are a number of different applications or systems that can be considered to be the components of digital health. The slide provides important examples of these components. mHealth being one of them. The World Health Organization defines mHealth as medical or public health practice supported by mobile devices like mobile phones or other wireless devices. Telemedicine in, it is another one. It is defined as utilization of interactive capabilities provided by communication technologies to provide medical care, diagnosis, consultation, health education, and even transfer of medical information. The information availability of genetic and biomarker data enable the decision making for patient to personalization of the medicine. Health information technologies provide hardware, software, integrated technologies as services for or to support the use by healthcare entities or patients for electronic record creation, maintenance, access, or exchange of health information. A clinical decision support system aims to improve healthcare delivery through medical decision which are usually supported by incorporating specific clinical knowledge, patient information, or other health data. Software-driven connected technologies that can detect or confirm the existence of an illness or even uh, condition of interest. Um, additionally, identifies person with a specific subtype of disease can be incorporated into digital diagnostics. Digital health can also support clinical trial operations and management and clinical care administration management. The patient uh, attributes uh, that are objectively monitored and analyzed as an indication of normal biological process, pathological process, or biological response to a treatment intervention are, uh, can be measured and evaluated using digital health technologies, and they can constitute digital biomarkers. 
Digital measures of how patient feels, functions, or survives are the electronic outcomes assessments. Digital companions are the digital technologies that are integrated with drug or biologic. Additionally, there are implantable and ingestible dig digital products that are being used for monitoring and sometimes even for treatments. There, are, uh, there is also increasing interest in the use of uh, social media data. But given to its highly unstructured content, there's still a need for improvement in methods that can assist its usage. So this slide shows the main focus areas for FDA when it comes to digital health. These include software as medical devices, artificial intelligence and machine learning in software as medical device, uh, cybersecurity, device software functions including mo uh, mobile medical applications, health information technologies, wireless medical devices, telemedicine, medical device interoperability, medical device data systems. Some important considerations for digital data include privacy, security, and trust. Privacy is defined as the freedom from unauthorized intrusion, which entails person's right to not have their personal information disclosed or used without their permission. Security is the obligation on part of all entities that are holding and exchanging personal health information um, to take all the necessary measures to prevent any unintended disclosure of the information. In addition to that, it includes provision for protection against any unauthorized alterations to the data and should also include auditing and logging of processes carried out on or with the data. Though privacy and security are important, they do not equal trust. It is something that requires more than that. The main element of trust includes transparency, accountability, benefit sharing, and clarity around data ownership and data control. With techni uh, technological advancements, the existing constructs of anonymization, consent, notice can become inadequate. For instance, cons Consent that the, for instance, the consent for data cannot encompass all the possible data use. In addition, uh, there is no surety that anonymization will still hold for advanced analytics and evolving technologies. So there are various ways of addressing the concerns around these areas. It includes implementation of secure technologies periodic monitoring and evaluation of security systems, development of transparency and accountability, and oversight mechanisms with responsive policies that can protect common interest. These are some key security and privacy definitions and more information on this can be found in the reference provided below. And these are some additional resources on existing federal health data privacy laws and regulations. So far, we have touched upon only few important considerations when it comes to digital health technologies. Now we will focus our attention on some recommendations that have been provided to advance the use of digital health technologies. One important need is the development of standards. We need data and metadata standards that can facilitate the process of data collection, interpretation, exchangeability, and harmonization across different research areas and clinical trials, if possible and if needed. Another aspect that can catapult the field is the development of open source analytics, specifically for pre-competitive space. There are a number of open questions from analytics perspective, which can be a Herculean task for a single entity or organization to tackle. Having pre-competitive collaborations can be an elegant solution for such needs. Development of data infrastructure platform that allow for end-to-end -end workflow for digital data from the point of collection to the final measurement value for a desired metric can be something that can be very useful for the field. There should be transparency with the data provenance. Additionally, developing pathways to promote algorithmic literacy, transparency, and oversight will be crucial for building confidence in the metrics derived from the analysis. One of the key aspects for advancing the digital health technologies is early engagement with regulatory agencies. One of the avenues for it can be pre-competitive consortia. 
It should also be augmented with alignment with review divisions of regulatory agencies to identify appropriate pathways. There are a number of pre-competitive initiatives for digital health technologies. There should be alignment across these initiatives to synergize the endeavors, improve learning, and minimize the duplication of effort. So with these recommendations, we will move on to the idea of patient centricity. There are needs associated with digital health technologies, but I have to mention that this list is not an exhaustive one. So we, um, we will be discussing more of these considerations in subsequent sections of these modules. One important aspect that I would like to end this chapter on is the voice of the patient. The patient centricity should be the core of the development that you plan for. The regulatory agencies place very high emphasis on patient centricity for the services being developed for them. We have a section dedicated to dig deeper into this concept. And with that, I will conclude this section. So there are a number of technologies that are being utilized for therapy development. The technology landscape is very diverse and is evolving at a very rapid pace. These technological innovations can have applicability in a number of therapeutic areas, which, uh, which are listed in the figure. Uh, these could include neurodegenerative or cardiovascular diseases. So according to Mehta et al, uh, some of the applications containing mobile technologies that have been submitted to FDA include electronic patient reported outcomes, digital diaries, treatment management, physical functions, and vital signs and biomarkers. And according to Wong et al, model-informed drug development approaches can be applied for four main categories. These are dose optimization, supportive evidence for efficacy, clinical trial design, and informing policy. So some additional processes where digital health technologies can assist, but not limited to, are the understanding of natural history, understanding normative or control cohorts, safety assessment, treatment management, and uh, post-approval surveillance. These, policies, uh, these possibilities can keep on increasing with the technological innovations. So there are considerations that become important from reviewers' perspective. Some important questions that can help in identifying those are provided here. What would make regulatory bodies more confident in making decisions about digital health technologies used for making healthcare decisions? How should regulatory bodies be prepared to handle large data sets that can have very diverse modalities and information content? What should be the general structure or template of requirements for these submissions? How can the review process be made scalable and flexible to the evolving submissions? but at the same time maintain the core of robust decision-making for patients' welfare? Would there be an additional storage or computational needs for assessing the data? Would there be an additional analytics interpretation need? And what are some additional considerations that should be incorporated to support the evolving nature of technology and its use in healthcare decisions? So, these are some of the questions that you might want to keep in mind as we go through the rest of the sections in this module.